Hello again, everyone. This is John with CADRAY, and today I want to show a quick and easy uh, design from a Medit scan using our Clinics CAD software to 3D print uh, a permanent or temporary crown. Uh, with all of these new crown resins that are available, this is a, a very good workflow, and I wanted to show you how easy it can be using Clinics CAD software. So this scan was taken in Medit Link, and you can see that we have the upper jaw, the lower jaw, and the bite that were all taken. And we did draw the margin inside of Medit Link uh, in this case, and the models have been completely rendered and they're ready for their design process. Uh, because we have the app, the Clinics app, built into Medit Link, all you have to do is come up here to the top and click Clinics CAD, and it will automatically launch the Clinics web browser. Clinics is the only browser-based software of its kind. There's nothing you need to install, there's nothing you need to do. Updates are pushed automatically. So when we push that Clinics button inside of Medit Link, it'll automatically open the browser. It'll prompt us to ask us to be sure that we want to load the case. We can click these two little security buttons for Google Chrome. And within a matter of seconds, the models will be brought into the Clinics web-based app with the margin line that we drew in Medit Link uh, already in there. If you want to draw the margin inside of Clinics, you can skip the margin step in Medit Link. And of course, you can edit the margin here inside of Clinics uh, once it's done. So if you follow the CAD assistant, down in the lower right hand corner, the first step, which is already complete automatically, is called import. The second step is draw the prep margin. You can see we drew that in Medit Link, but if I wanted to edit it, I can just give it a double click and I can reconnect it to itself by double clicking to make any changes, but the margin line does look pretty good. Let's go ahead and click the next button and go on to the next step, which is the insertion axis. It'll tell us to please ensure the mesial points to the right. And of course, we can look for any undercuts, which will be highlighted in yellow. We just want to define a nice clear path of draw for this crown and set the model axis like that. Let's go ahead and click Next. Once we click the Next button, it'll ask us to do the manual placement of the tooth. And there are two different crown libraries for anatomy. Uh, we're adding more all the time, so I can choose Option 1 or I can choose Option 2, whichever anatomy design I like best. And then what I'll do is go ahead and use the Manual Placement tool. I can move, rotate, or scale. Let's start with a quick rotate because the initial placement here is rotated a bit. So let's go ahead and straighten that out. And let's make sure that we like the way the crown is situated in the arch form. If I wanted to move it a little bit, we can say, hey, we need to move this a bit more lingually uh, to match up with the other teeth. But overall, the manual placement looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and click the next button. And we'll go ahead and get the proposal for the crown. And we'll do some of the fine adjustments like the contacts interproximally and occlusally. So we'll wait a second here and we'll get the proposal for the crown. And the first thing it's going to have me do is check out my proximal contacts. I can use my form tool, add, subtract, or smooth. So for example, if I wanted to subtract a little bit of contact here, and I can change the radius of the tool as well. I can make it bigger or smaller, and then I can smooth out some of the areas and make everything look nice and smooth. We can go ahead and click next. It'll bring us to the other side contact. And that looks pretty good. We can click next, and it'll bring us to the occlusal contacts. Now for the occlusal contacts, I can, of course, use my subtract tool and make it pretty big, and I can take away some of the heaviness of the occlusal contact, or I can use my circular shape tool, and I can actually bring down the cusp tip individually, and if these are a bit too sharp, I can bring them down, or if the buckle contour was a bit too fat, I can certainly bring it in or bring it out, and I can complete my design and move things around as needed. Um, but overall, the tooth, I believe, is looking pretty good, and everything's pretty matched up with the adjacent teeth. Let's maybe pull this out a little bit here. And once everything is complete and ready for printing, I can come up here and I can choose either mill or print. In this case, I'm ready for print. Everything's been designed and I'm ready to go. I can certainly turn on the uh, antagonist or the opposing arch model. I can certainly make that transparent. And we can see what the occlusal contacts look like. Uh, just like any CAD software, it's pretty easy to navigate with the model tab up in the right hand corner. And once the crown's been designed and we're ready to print it, let's click export for print. And because we've integrated with lots of different um, slicing softwares like Accuretta, like um, Envision Tech, RP, for the Einstein printer and Sprint Raise Rayware, I can go ahead and click Export for Rayware. It'll automatically now export this file. It will automatically launch my Rayware software. And it'll automatically bring the crown in upside down and ready for print. You can see I already have Sprint Ray Onyx selected in my Pro 55S printer. And this crown can print uh, in about 18 minutes. It couldn't be easier to go from scan to design <clears throat> to either print or mill using the Clinics web-based CAD software. Appreciate you watching today, and we look forward to speaking with you soon.